So this is Maria Perez Brown. If you don't know, then just Google put Maria Perez Brown. You see, she's done so many things. You'll see her book, uh, executive producer. Just look, you just look her up. But Maria, look for the people that do know you now. Give them a piece of advice, just from an executive perspective. I know you have your producer perspective as well, but from an executive perspective, uh, what? How do, how do you sell a show? You know, I teach a course uh, at Columbia right now called The Art of the Pitch. And there's three sessions, and I think I narrow it down to three pieces of advice. The first is know where to sit in the room. And that's probably one of the things I learned, the most important lesson that I learned over the years, and that is that when you walk in a room, you wait to be shown where to sit. And usually the executive will say, oh, take a seat here and they'll point to where you want to be. And the reason for that is because they are creatures of habits and they usually sit in the same seat and they have the same view and if you take them out of their comfort zone, they're going to be uncomfortable for the next 20 minutes and you're not going to be successful. And that may sound naive, but I know because having been an executive of five shows, if you walk in and you sit in the chair that I normally sit in, I'm just not comfortable. I'm just going to be looking at the window, looking at the different views, looking at the posters on the wall, and half my attention uh, is going to be on something else. And that's just human nature. Maybe no one will ever tell you that. Uh, number two is keep writing. You know, I was always afraid of writing because I was always a lawyer or executive or a mom or everything else I could be, and that was pure procrastination. And uh, you procrastinate because you're really afraid to do the thing that you have a passion for. And right now, I can say it, I'm a writer. I'm still afraid to write, but I still get up every morning and I try to write something, whether it's a children's book or a, a screenplay or um, a book of interviews or anything, but clearly do the thing that you're passionate about but you're scared to do. That's usually where you're going to be successful. If you don't start, it's never going to happen. Right, and what's the third one? The third one is buy my book and watch my shows. No. The third one is look, market yourself. I think that um, the third one is don't be afraid to talk about what you do. That's called marketing. Uh, if no one knows what you're doing and you're too afraid to show what you've done and you've done this great writing and you're afraid to show it, it's amazing. Don't be afraid to. You wrote a book. Give it to somebody to read. Maybe what they have to say won't matter to you, but maybe what you have to say, what they have to say, will inspire you to make an edit or take the work in a different direction. So that getting out and getting opinions makes you have a thick skin. Sometimes you get bad reviews if they're real good friends of yours and uh, sometimes it's your mom, sometimes it's your friend or your spouse, but uh, you have to put it out there. Every little bit helps. And you know, if you still believe in what you wrote is what you want to tell, then keep it. Don't change it. Just keep going. Right. And then, what, and then, is networking important, or, or is that just the kind of like the key to get to where you need to go? Or I always tell people to network, but you know what? Networking is overrated. I, I will tell you that because I feel like I have to say that. But you know what? Sometimes networking, if it's not with the right people, can become a nuisance. If you are at the right level in your career where people are emailing you, and sometimes, you know, I get hundreds of emails that I can't really help. Everyone's calling me to get a job, and I'm over here trying to get my next gig myself. It's at a whole different level, and people are trying to, I make as much time as I can to talk to people. So, yeah, ask the person that can help you, but also be prepared to be persistent without being annoying. And that's a true art. How do you keep reminding people that you want to talk to them without interrupting the very limited time that they may have for free if they're working or if they have their writing or whatever they're doing. So it's a, it's a pretty uh, kind of fine line to walk uh, in order to ask for help and advice. But do network. Uh, just kind of keep it to a network. Don't go to every party. Just go to that party where that executive is that wants your show. That one key party. And the rest of that time that you're partying, you probably should be behind your computer doing some writing. Thank you so much. Maria is, you guys got to look at his, her work. A lot more coming up, right? A lot more work is going to be out there. And you're finally back to producing. And I'm sure they're going to pull you back into the executive because that's just... <laughs> They need you in that side too, but we need you on this creative side as well. So thank you so much. I'm sure people are going to love 
everything well, you just said. Look, I just want to thank the people who've been supportive because, you know, it's interesting how when you are in a position to hire people, they, uh, they really call you and then when you're in a position to sell something, sometimes they don't answer your phones. But you know, you know who your true people are and they're always there for you. That's great too. So thank you Q for being there for Oh, you're welcome. No, <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you always been. I mean, you don't need to be more successful, but you, you keep being successful. And I think it's because you're really genuine and, and I don't think that you mess with people's hopes and dreams. Because a lot of people sometimes do that. Like, they strip people along. And knowing they have no intention, they just want to have this big powerful thing and I think you always been honest like oh that's not gonna work oh yeah that's gonna work or whatever so thank you everybody so don't don't email her unless you got some money for her <laughs> she can, if you got some cash yeah if you got some cash talk. yeah you can go directly to her if you got no cash maybe send an email to call him <laughs>